everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at page 17 in your lesson book. You remember last week we had an introduction to 16th notes. And if you flip back to page 16, you'll see that we were working only with groups of four 16th notes in a group. So we always saw, if we saw a 16th note, there were always four of them. Going on to page 17, though, now we're looking at different combinations. So there aren't always four 16th notes. Sometimes there's a different grouping. So um, if you look up at number 72, the rhythm wrap, you'll see the first group of notes we see, and there's three notes connected together. The first note there is an eighth note, and then the next two notes are 16th notes. All right, if we're thinking about which note should be faster and which note should be slower, the eighth note is a longer note. In fact, an eighth note can hold two 16th notes. So that'll be a longer note, and then the two 16th notes after it um, will be shorter. When I see that group of notes that looks like that with a quarter, uh, an eighth note and two 16ths, I like to call that the strawberry group because it sounds like this. Or strawberry, long, short, short. So anytime I see that, I always say strawberry. If you look after that, so I'm again still in 72, the rhythm wrap in the first measure, the second beat is two eighth notes. So that's just, so if you put all of measure one together, or the words I like to use, strawberry ice cream. So that's the strawberry ice cream rhythm. Um, <clears throat> they have put the actual counting, if you are using the number system, it's one and a two and. You're welcome to count like that. Uh, I think it's a little bit more fun to put the different words in. So if you look at measure, we're at 72, look at measure one, it's strawberry ice cream. Measure two is the same, strawberry ice cream. Then measure three, we have two strawberries, strawberry, strawberry. And then there's one beat, just a quarter note um, in the fourth measure. Okay, uh, you might say strawberry, strawberry pie or something like that. So here is the rhythm wrap. I'm going to clap the rhythm. Uh, you can do it with me at home. So here we go. One, two, and ready, and. And rest. Good. Let's play this together. Let's play it on our open D string. Okay, so remember that first note is going to feel longer, and then the two 16th notes are a little bit shorter. So here we go. One, two, and here we go. And just like last week, you probably remember those quarter notes feel very, very slow. With the tempo we're going right now, trying to... Um, work with these 16th notes, quarter notes tend to feel like they're really long notes <clears throat> because you can fit four 16th notes into one quarter note. Now, as they always do with these rhythm wraps, the next exercise, number 73, is the same rhythm, um, but with different pitches. So they've called this blueberry pie, probably because the strawberry can also be blueberry. However, <clears throat> pie is only one syllable, so it doesn't really quite fit with those two eighth notes. Um, you, again, you can use whatever words work for you, um, but let's play this here. So 73, starting on open D. Ready, and uh, here we go. Rest. Good, taking a look at 74, the same types of uh, rhythms. Uh, this, and it is, as you can see the pattern, it's just a backwards D major scale. This time they've put a staccato marking over the eighth note. So anytime you get to an eighth note, it's going to look and sound like this. All right, so you're going to do a, a, a lot of bow, but move it very quickly and then stop your bow. Okay, remember the three S's of staccato. You have a lot of speed behind your bow. Then you stop your bow, and that creates a space in between the notes. The three S's of, of staccato. Speed, stop, and space. So here is number 74. Set your fingers down for a high D. One, two, here we go. Great, very good. OK, 
Okay, <clears throat> so we're doing another rhythm wrap at 75. And oops. you can see now that instead of it being an eighth note with two sixteenth notes, it's actually the other way around. So now it's two sixteenth notes with an eighth note. So instead of it's now, okay? And you can put together, you put in any words that you uh, like for that. Some, a lot of people, even though we say chocolate with two syllables, a lot of people will say chocolate. That's one uh, <clears throat> um, word that people like to put in with that rhythm. But again, you could come up with anything that fits for you, but it's short, short, long is what we're feeling here. So uh, let's go through number 75. This time I'm going to say the actual counting syllables. So one E and two E and just so you can get uh, an idea of what those sound like too. Those are written under your notes if you want to say them with me. So here's 75. Ready and uh, here we go. One E and two E and one and two and one E and two E and one rest. Good, let's play that, and this time we'll mix it up a little bit. Let's do it on our open A string. So remember in this uh, configuration, the quick notes come first. So here we go, 75, one E and here we go. Rest. Good, moving on to 76 now, it'll be the same rhythm. Just some different notes. Okay, marching along. And pay attention to those staccato markings, too, in the second measure. So here we go, 76. Ready, and uh, here we go. Rest. Good. 77. Same deal as before. It's a backwards D major scale, but instead of da, 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 or one and a, uh, now it's one E and. Okay, so hopefully you can hear the difference between those patterns. <clears throat> here is 77. Ready and uh, here we go. Okay, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully this is kind of all making sense as we're going through these. Number 78, this is a rhythm duet. Now, this one is would be kind of cool, like a little bit easier to do if we were in person. Um, it's really neat. You can, you can look how in the first measure, um, you see it's broken into the A line and the B line. <clears throat> so if you're playing measure one and you're the A line, you're going to play one E and two E and. If you're playing the B line, you're going to play one and a two and a. So you're actually, what you're playing is offset from each other and you're always going to hear 16th notes happening. In measure two, you have the same rhythm. 16th notes, one E and a, and then two and. The same thing happens uh, as the first measure in measure three, <clears throat> and then again, similar in measure four to what happened in measure two. So there's a bit of a pattern here. What we'll do is I will play through the A line, then I'll play through the B line. And if you're interested to hear what they sound like together, you can back up and try to play like the B line while I'm playing the A line. Okay. So <clears throat> here is the A line starting on an F sharp. And remember, this is going to be one E and two E and. Ready, and uh, here we go. Good. Now going to the B line, this is a different rhythm. One and a uh, two and a. Uh, ready, and uh, here we go. Okay, we'll finish this up <clears throat> with number 79. Uh, this is a, a quiz. They're having you <clears throat> demonstrate that you know all of the different patterns. So you can see in uh, the first measure, uh, it's one and a two and a. Then the second measure is going to be two quarter notes, and they're going to feel really, 
really long. In fact, if you're thinking 16th notes in your head, you might go, um, let me play it and show you what I might say in my head. One E and a, two E and a. So you're counting those four 16th notes. One E and a. That's one quarter notes worth, right? Because four 16th notes fit into a quarter note. Measure three is using all 16th notes. <clears throat> one E and a, two E and a. Measure four is just a quarter note with a rest. And then if we get to measure five, that's the, the flip rhythm. One E and, two E and. And then the rest shouldn't is nothing new. So all of the rhythms we've worked on with 16th notes are in this one exercise of number 79. Okay, <clears throat> so set your fingers down for an F sharp. Let's play through this. Okay, one and a, here we go. different patterns of 16th notes and we will go over them uh, when we meet for our lesson.